we will discuss erythroplakia and leukoplakia. They are important because both of them have potential of malignancy or um, they have potential to become cancer. That's why they are important. Uh, erythroplakia are red, right, or velvety patch uh, on the uh, oral mucosa. You can see this is erythroplakia. They can be bleedy and sometimes they make discomfort but not painful and they have high risk of malignancy that's why they are important so erythroplakia is important because it has high risk of malignancy while leukoplakia is white patches that cannot be scrubbed off you cannot scrub you can see this is uh, this is leukoplakia here um, and risk factors for them uh, is smoking and alcohol for both. Uh, in case of erythroplakia, in many cases uh, causes is not known, so we don't know what is caused, but a risk factor is definitely alcohol and smoking for both. Also, um, other risk factors can be ill-fitted dentures, broken teeth and rough spots on the teeth. Such factors can be um, risk factor for leukoplakia also older age for both uh, especially uh, leukoplakia is diagnosed usually more than 65 year old males it's more common in males also erythroplakia is more common in males also what is mechanism of action a mechanism of uh, developing leukoplakia is abnormal growth and thickening or hyperkeratosis of the top layer of oral mucosa, oral tissue. So it's hyperkeratosis, that's why it's white. And in, in place of um, erythroplakia mechanism is dysplasia of mucosal cells. That's why it has high risk of malignancy. But if we say how common they are, um, leukoplakia is much more common. Leukoplakia is in 1% of population uh, and erythroplakia is 0.1% of general population so it, uh, it is considered much uh, much less common so erythroplakia is less common leukoplakia is more common leukoplakia also is correlated with virus H, uh, human papillomavirus HPV uh, HPV 16 and 18 is correlated with this uh, virus. Um, now let's say malignancy risk. Malignancy risk of leukoplakia is low. So on white patches, uh, malignancy is low risk. It's 5% around, mm, sometimes less. And in case of erythroplakia, malignancy rate is very high. Malignancy is around 90%. Um, now let's say about prognosis and treatment. Treatment is surgical removal. Uh, if there is uh, important dysplasia, um, removal should be uh, uh, should be totally uh, and prognosis is usually good in both cases. Prognosis is usually good. Of course it depends of if uh, if um, erythroplakia is transformed into malignancy and cancer, it depends on invasion and many factors, but usually prognosis is good, especially in case of leukoplakia. That's all. Uh, let's summarize now. Uh, erythroplakia is red patches on uh, oral mucosa. Uh, leukoplakia is white patches. Leukoplakia is much more common. Erythroplakia is um, much more dangerous because it has risk of malignancy that's the difference thank you very much thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now